Ah, good morning. I wanted to uh, show you a uh, little video today on, uh, I have this D-Link camera and uh, I wanted to uh, show you how to set it up. I've had this camera for quite a while and it works really good. It'll work off of your uh, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, you know, internet system and you're able to use an app, put it into uh, uh, like a cell phone app or a, if you have a tablet app or on your computer and be able to monitor this uh, this camera and the nice thing about it it has a motion you can change the motion from mobile you don't have to actually move the camera physical uh, you could set it in a place and move it around and scan different areas so I want to uh, show you a little bit about this camera today and it's a D-Link and uh, it's a mobile camera it's a wireless camera and so uh, I want to show you a little bit about setting that up alright here's the uh, D-Link camera and uh, it comes with a, it's got a little base that you can actually, it's got holes in it, you can screw it, mount it to wherever you want. Um, you can actually set set it down and it'll set, if you have a place you want to keep it mobile, it'll set on this base like this. And uh, it's got adjustments, you can uh, move it up and down, you can turn it left and right there. But it'll also move on its own, the camera pivots back and forth and up and down so you can uh, see a variety of different areas. Uh, it's got a little antenna on it, and right here is where you hook your power up and also your Ethernet. Um, it's been a while since I bought this one. Uh, I'm not sure if it comes with an Ethernet cord or not. I, I was thinking maybe it did. And uh, so, just any standard Ethernet cord that you can hook it to your router just to set it up. That's the only time you need that. This is the uh, power adapter, plugs into the wall and uh, plugs right into the outfit here and uh, I do have a link on uh, for this particular one to Amazon and if you click on that link it'll take you right to it and uh, if you uh, purchase it right off that link it actually uh, will help my channel out there I actually get a small commission it doesn't cost you any more it's the same price uh, whether you uh, go off my link or not but uh, we're going to use uh, start setting this up and I'll show you how to do that here today all right to initially set it up you see I've got it set here as my router and uh, what I've done is just plugged one of the Ethernet cords into the back of my router. And of course that goes in and gets plugged in to the back of the camera. And then also this is the uh, power cord. It's plugged in uh, to it also. There's the other end of it. And uh, that end gets plugged into electricity. And so this is the uh, initial way to uh, start setting up your... Uh, Alright, first thing you want to do is get your software to uh, set up your... Uh, D-Link camera. Across the top here you can see it's going to list a uh, bunch of cameras and depending on which one you got here and uh, we'll uh, just go across till you find the uh, the one that you have and uh, I'm looking for, for mine right here and I have the DL, DCS 5020L so that's the particular camera that I'm setting up right here so if I click on that and uh, hit the Windows Setup Wizard. It's going to come up this screen. You can also do this with your mobile device. But uh, what I done here is hit Download the Windows Setup Wizard. If you just if you see where I had to do is scroll down. Well, I didn't have to scroll down, but it's right there in that first thing. You can also uh, use your uh, QR code there to uh, see which uh, device you want to get but anyways I'm going to hit the one for Windows setup so I hit down if you notice down here uh, in the auto run mode it just down downloaded that app so that's how you get the uh, original app to set up your camera there it's really uh, really fairly simple and easy to do alright now that I've got the uh, uh, camera hooked into the uh, router and then also the power cord is hooked up after you, and you've downloaded your uh, your app, your download will end up in your download box. So if you go to your file fol folders, hit where it says downloads, and click on the auto run, it'll come up and ask you if uh, you want to want this advice to make changes to your computer, and you hit yes. And uh, after you do that, this screen here will come up. Though the first thing it's going to ask you what language you want it, and since I'm English, uh, I'm going to set it for English. And this shows for the DCS 5020L uh, setup wizard. And this is what this camera I'm showing you today is the 50L. They got other models out there. 
I listed another model that actually has a little SD card that you can put in. It's just a little upgrade model that uh, uh, you can set it up, but when you go in to download your uh, software, you just pick out whatever model you happen to have. But this is for the DCS 5020L. And so after I select the language, which is English, I hit the uh, start. And so now it's checked for some updates. And after that, it's got an end user license agreement. You hit I accept these terms and conditions. And then you hit next. And then after that, it's going to tell you to do what we just done. Uh, I'm going to plug the Ethernet cord into the back of the camera. And then uh, the other end to the back of your router on it. And then after you've done that, you'll want to plug your power cord in. And then plug it into electricity. And then you'll see the LEDs will be coming on. And uh, hit the next and it says, is your LED solid green? Now, which mine is solid green, so I'm going to say yes. And uh, at this point, it's searching for the uh, uh, camera. And you can see right here, it actually it found it. It's got the uh, DCS. 20L and it found that there and uh, so it's going to uh, it's continued searching but I can actually go here and click on this and it says the cloud camera you selected has already been registered So because I have registered this in the past on it and so I'm going to reset my camera Now you probably won't have to do that um, so, so what the next thing I'm going to do is go over here and hit the uh, the reset button All right, now again, it's gonna ask me, is the green, is it button green? And it's uh, actually gonna do another search. Now you probably won't have to do this part because I've already had it set up. My system recognizes it, but I had changed my internet, so I had to reset it again. And uh, so the next thing we wanna do is if I wanna put a password in for this uh, system, um, I had one before, so I'm gonna enter that password. And after I do that, I'll hit the next. And so it's going to check my password out for me. It's going to take it a few minutes. All right. And then it shows uh, uh, the connection. How will you use your, how will you connect it to the router? So right now it's, I'm doing a wired connection. Now, if you're using your cell phone, you can do it wirelessly, but I'm uh, using the computer to set it up. So I've checked the Ethernet cable. So that's what I'll be using next to uh, identify it. So it's saving my network settings at this point here. Now it'll just take a couple minutes for it to do that. You'll see the uh, progression here as that turns green there on it. So it's going to restart it. And so we're going to wait for that here a second there to that. Uh, that continues to go through its process. So I've been using this camera for probably at least four to five years now, and it works good. Uh, we just had to put a new uh, router on our internet here uh, from the cable company, and so it changed that settings. And so this is why I'm resetting it up again. And so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to uh, make up this little video and show you how to uh, set up the uh, DCS 50 uh, 20 L uh, through the wizard so it just takes a few minutes and uh, we'll continue to to uh, walk through that all right so the camera has been registered and uh, click reset to restart the application so we're gonna um, hit that oh no I, I'm sorry we don't have to hit that we're gonna hit okay because it's already been reset on it so now as you can see I'm sitting there waving at the camera it's already connected it so it sees the the camera now and so now I can uh, finish setting this up and the camera should be ready to uh, to use it'll go in here to the uh, this is a application that you use on your computer I'm using my laptop right now and as you see it's green right now and it's getting ready to uh, load the settings up so basically what it's done it has went through and the routers and talked to the camera and so now whenever I hook the software up to it the camera talks through my router as you can see here I am let's scroll down just a little bit got my hand in the air <laughs> so anyways and sorry about the backlight there's a window there but now the camera is uh, 
already all set to go so now we'll be able to use this camera and move it we can unplug it from the router and use it wirelessly the only thing connection you need you do need electricity to power it so wherever you put it you need to have access to a uh, electricity a plug of some sort so this is where we're going to be setting up our uh, d-link camera uh, I have another security system that I have cameras mounted on outside of the house all the way around but I have an area here in the back that I can't monitor so uh, what I'm going to do is I basically just setting this in a window here and I'll uh, plug it in here and be able to monitor this into the house there so it's a pretty simple setup I've got my uh, uh, cord here plugged into electricity here and uh, just plug it into uh, this socket here and as you do that the camera is going to go through a little it's going to move around and uh, basically uh, when it's done here moving around it's going to uh, have a point where it's stopped and then I'm going to focus that where I'm pretty sure it's kind of the center point of where I want the camera to aim at and uh, it's already uh, going to be looking at the uh, uh, internet because uh, uh, it's already been connected to the router so see it's done at this point here now I can uh, just go ahead and leave it set up here and I can make final adjustments to the camera right off my computer there if I want it to uh, point up down left or right there I can actually make it that's the nice thing about this uh, this little camera you're able to adjust the view if you uh, are off somewhere and you're looking at the uh, uh, on your say your smartphone or a tablet or another computer off you can be thousands of miles away and you hook into this and if you want to see a different area you can move it around if I want to see a little right or left or up and down I can move it from say a thousand miles away uh, alright if you go to uh, mydlink.com and there will be an area where you can sign in and uh, you know I set up my email address and a password there and once I hit the sign in there it'll go look uh, for my camera here it shows you'll see a, a green mark there so it means the camera that is active and uh, it'll take it a second to load the uh, picture up and uh, once load picture you'll be able to see what's coming from the camera itself it just takes a couple of things there it is so now I've got my camera uh, in view and I'm able to look across the back of my property but the neat thing about this camera here is if I want to uh, move the setting where it says preset view here if I click on that you'll see a couple arrows here and if I click this over you'll see the camera will actually move and so see I can get a little bit different view of my side yard there and uh, see we're back to the center view there so depending on what area you want to see on your your camera you can move that from side to side you can move it up or down and say you want it to be up a little higher I hit the up barrel and you see it took a little higher view of it and so this is a pretty cool uh, cool setup where you're able to move your camera around and choose whatever view that you want and you'll be able to do that from just about anywhere in the world because you can use your uh, iPad you could use your uh, phone you can use anything you just download the app and you'll be able to view it uh, from wherever every you're at. So it's a pretty cool feature of, of this uh, of this camera. All right, another thing you're able to do is uh, set up your email notifications. So you can set up a motion detection and sound detection. So anytime it detect a sound, uh, it would uh, save that to an email notification or you can set up a motion if it detects a motion it would send you an email and all you have to do is hit on enable me email and that'll do that and also hit on the motion and sound now warning on these I've set these up in the past uh, sometimes they can trigger a email notification or sound notification pretty easily and so I don't use them but it's something you can use but you might get a lot of emails and so this is something that's uh, an option you can do I particularly don't use it myself just because uh, I don't like getting uh, 20 30 emails a day you know about notification settings but say you're away from home and you wanted that uh, you can turn this off and on at different times so this is another uh, a good feature it has that you can use if you would like alright there was one more thing I wanted to show you you can actually uh, 
zoom in if this little see this where this little plus thing is here if you click on that little bar come up there and you want to uh, zoom into it you can move the slider board over and you see how I'm zooming into uh, to that picture and it'll it'll zoom right in on things there so you know say you want to zoom on some objects some uh, say a license plate or whatever it may be you actually uh, you can use that zoom in feature uh, to do that on uh, this one also has a, a day and night view it's got a uh, I usually set it on auto but you know at nighttime if you see it's going to change uh, here there's infrared lights in there you don't notice much now uh, that's on day view on night view but uh, during the night time there this will light this whole area you kind of see basically you see how that picture changed but you see this little uh, lights around here that's actually the infrared lights uh, one note it, it's right now I have this set and looking out a window looking out a window it don't always work as well because what I've done is I'm just getting a reflection of those lights into the window but if you just have the pointing straight outside or wherever uh, this works out really really well so just one clue if you have a set in the window the infrared might not work so well for you and I put it back to the regular view on it so camera has a lot of features on it and again I've left a link here uh, in my section below there if you uh, interested in buying one of those if you click on that link uh, it'll take you right to Amazon and you can purchase this camera I also have another link just actually just takes you to Amazon I'm an Amazon affiliate so uh, if you click on that link uh, from my channel and anything that you would purchase from Amazon which most people are purchasing stuff there all the time anyways but if you do me a favor and click on that link it'll take you right there and it won't cost you a penny more, but uh, by clicking on that link, Amazon will give me a uh, little commission back for referring to you. So I'd appreciate if you'd do that. And uh, again, I, I thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you set up this uh, this camera. Like I said, I've had this for maybe four, maybe even five years. I've had it for a long time, and it's uh, still working great there. And uh, if you have any comments, leave anything in the comment section uh, below there. Uh, do me a favor, give me the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the uh, subscribe button. And by doing that, you'll get a notification whenever I put a new video up, which uh, I do put a new one up every day. So, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.